Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we will learn how to create a smart table in new SAP UI5 and also how to do a simple CRUD operation in a smart table. So let's get started by creating a project using a template. For the service path, Northwin, I will use the full access read write because we will try to do a delete operation and we will be using V2. Let's copy this link. Okay, so let's get started by running this application. Okay, so the application is running. Now let's start creating our view. So first we use a smart table, we will need to include the library. That is smart table. Okay, we'll also include smart filter. Okay, so let's start by creating a smart table. This an ID. Okay. Let's give this initially visible fields. Entity set will use as products. Let's give some more parameters.
let's check this. Okay, so we have a smart table. We just uh, one smart table control. We didn't have to add any columns inside this. Just we have to just mention the initial visible fields. We have mentioned four of the fields, and here are the four fields. Okay, we have the export button because we enable the export table option. It can be exported directly as XLSX or export as, and you can change the format. We have the personalization button settings. Okay, where we can choose the columns that we want to see. We can sort, we can filter it out. Smart table gives us all these functionality automatically. Okay, so now that we have our smart table, let's create a smart filter for this. Let's give this an ID. We'll give an entity set. Product. And for this one, Okay. Let's create some controls inside this. Okay, so we have created one filter with a default filter value, select option, low one. Let's take this out. Okay, we have the filter, but if you see, even though the value is one, it is not filtered. That's because we have to link this filter bar with this smart table. To link this, we just need to write smart filter ID and give the same ID as the filter bar ID. Let's check this out. Perfect. So now we have a smart table already filtered out with the smart filter bar default value. If I remove this filter and click on go, you see we have all the data in the table. Let's create one more filter. We'll just copy the sole control configuration. So ID one and name will has been filtered out. Okay. So this is how you can create a smart table with smart filter. Now let's do a CRUD operation. To perform a CRUD operation in smart table, you need to customize the smart table with a normal responsive table. So let's do that. So to customize the smart table, we need to create a responsive table inside the smart table. So we have included the multi-select here. Now we, I want to put a delete button on top. So let's create that.
let's check this button. So now we have this button delete over here. Let's write the functionality for this. Okay, first we need to get the model. Okay, the ID will be the smart table ID. Now to do a cloud operation. It by default uses batch operation. So I won't I don't want to use batch operation. So let's make it false. Now let's select, now let's select all the selected items on the table. And this would be the responsive table. So we'll use ID table ID. And then we we'll loop on this table. All the items that are selected, we we'll loop on it. We will get the ID so that we can delete those items using in the ID. Property name is ID. And we just need to do it. O model dot remove. My entity name is product, and then I will pass on the selected ID. Get all data, we'll remove the filter. Let's delete Arena Cola and put punch. Okay, uh, let's see. I had filled it wrong. Pick that. Let's check it out again. Let's remove the filters to get all the data again. Let's delete Havina Cola and Fruit Punch. You see, both the data are gone. Just to confirm whether it is actually gone, let's refresh. You see, even after refreshing, we don't get that Avina Cola and Fruit Punch because it is deleted from the database. So this is how you can create a smart table in SAP UI 5, also smart filter bar, and you can also perform CRUD operations using a custom table. Thank you for watching, guys. See you again in the next video.